What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Kim. Let's jump into it. Yes, this is where we left off last time, and some rich man was talking to us like we were a piece of shit. Okay, that's me. Uh, I thought that was me down here. Top-down view is a little tough to get used to, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Now, we don't want to go. We want to go this way. Uh, right there. Hmm... Um, Yeah, that'll keep our health up. Plus 38. Plus 5. Minus 15. Plus 5. Let's do that. Go, go, go. Except for the Grey Eagle and the occasional far scene. Oh, achievement. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, except for the Grey Eagle and an occasional far scene bear grubbing and rooting on the hillside, a vision of fear is painted leopard met at dawn in still valley devouring a goat. And now again, a bright colored bird, they were alone with the winds and the grass singing under their wind. Ooh, nice. Aritzar is the wealthiest and most populous city of Punjab and the religious capital of the Sikhs. It was founded in 1574 by Ram Das, the guru of the Sikhs upon sight, granted by the Emperor Akbar. Around a sacred tank from which the city takes its name, pulled of immortality, Ahmad Shah Durrani destroyed it in 1761, blew up the temple, and defiled the shrines with Bullock's blood. After his retirement, the city was divided amongst various Sikh chiefs to whom was assigned a separate ward. However, it gradually passed into power of the Baji Mead, who retained the supremacy until 1802. In that year, Ranjit seized it and roofed it, and roofed the great shrine with sheets of copper gilt, once it was called the Golden Temple. Uh, Murray's Handbook of the Punjab Western Rajputana, Kashmir, and Upper Sindh, 1883. Nice. Okay. So, we're done. Stop it. Okay, so that's me. Uh, we have a house. And we can travel. So there's lodging there, lodging there. Let's go over here. It's too bad you can't run. Come on, you slow ass mofo. Get another house there. You can get some food. Get some chai. Useful pick me up. One hour, no hunger. Minus 50 fatigue. Yeah, why not? Uh, talk about Aritsa. Of course, Aritsa is the crown of the Punjab and its golden temple, the jewel business drive. Our prices are fair, and if you still cannot afford to buy, you can always sell in the pawn shop. Ooh, I'll remember that. Thank you, good kind sir. We had the bed. What's going on over here? Is this like a market? Yes, looks like we have more food. Tattered clothes. <laughs> oh, it's a pawnbroker. I see, I see. Okay. No, 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 no. We don't want to be doing that shit. I ain't selling the clothes off my back, man. This is not cool. Aha! This is what we were looking for. Bread. Buy two of those. The prices aren't really that fair. They're higher than everybody else. there. Uh, lucky day for you, more like. Tell your llama we are good people here and worthy of his blessing. Yay, we got free food. Okay, so we got that. Um, I want to pause for a second. That's our rupees. Where is, is this his suitcase? No, that's for thing. Maybe that's it? No. I know it's one of these. There it is. Okay. So we got three bread, four peaches. And where are we doing overall? Mm. How the hell is the, uh, like the stats? Hmm. Is it this? Recent effects, sleep minus 120, being awake plus 40. 
health is 72. Happiness is 90. Fatigue is 40. I don't know what it gets up to. Maybe 100? But I mean, like, you're looking happiness 90s, health 72. I want to eat that. Oh, that's recent effects at the top. Oh, okay. So if I eat that, health is 73. Bread. Okay. I think we should be pretty good now. Health, happiness 93, fatigue is zero. Yeah. All right, so now I believe we could probably just leave. Let's see what happens. Uh, we may end up having to go here to the station, but there it is. Okay, so we want to take a plus five, minus five health, plus 10 rupees. Normal, six and a half, plus 33 fatigue, minus six rupees. Minus four, minus five, plus 68 fatigue. Hmm. The happiness goes down if we do that. Actually, it does that regardless. It's health that disappears, which I'm okay with. So maybe we do that. What if we do normal? Minus seven, minus five. Yeah, let's do that. Here and there they met or were overtaken by ga gaily dressed cowards of whole villages turning out to some local fair. The women with their babes on their hips walking behind the men, the older boys prancing on six of sugar cane, dragging rude brass models of locomotives such as they sell for half penny or flashing the sun into the eyes of their betters from the cheap toy mirrors. Oh, okay. So I wonder now, like, let's go uh, talk to this guy. No, we can't. We could try and take him out, but I don't think we have a, a very good weapon. So we can sleep here at a camp. This is basically just a camp. Fatigue to 63. Zero. Minus two rupees. We'll sleep for the night. Beautiful. Beautiful. What do we have here? Um, locked with a fl flimsy padlock. Nobody is home. Yeah, not gonna break into people's shit as of yet. We will be getting into that kind of stuff, though. I do want to try that. Um, normal. Sleep inside. And we'll buy food. Why not? The vista of the plains rolled out far beneath them. The incessant twanging of the tonga horns and the wild rush of led horses. When a tonga swung round a curve, the halts for prayers, the evening conferences by halting places. When camels and bullocks chewed solemnly together and stole, stolid drivers told the news of the road. Cool. Arthur Bennett. That's that asshole that was torturing us the last time. What's this guy? Father Victor. Who is this strapping lad? The other priest sent me. I think he knew my father, Kimball O'Hara. Powers of darkness below, what a country. I did not see you. Besides, I am now just a disciple of a very holy man. He is there. We saw two men come with flags, making the place ready. I saw a red bull on the green field. I think the bull shall help me. The holy man said so too. He is very holy. He can witness to all things I say, as he knows I am not a thief. It's O'Hara's boy. Sure enough, O'Hara's boy lead with all the powers of the darkness. It's very much what his father would have done if he was drunk. Dignified and susp unsuspicious, the Lama strode up and saluted the churches as churchmen and sat down. Now, Kimball, I wish you to tell this man what I say word for word. You should be grateful that you're going to help you. Holy one, this fool looks like a, a camel, says that I am of a son of Sahib. Oh, it is true. I knew since my birth he thinks the Sahib was always a Sahib. He, he proposes to send me to the Madrash school. It has happened before. I have always avoided it. 
Lama's voice was harsh with pain. And then you can read that if you want. I say it must go. A pretense of agreement. And the worst of a few meals eaten away from you. And then I must slip away and follow down the road. What are you saying? Oh, he only says if you do not let me go, it will stop him in his business. His urgent private affairs. And if you did know what his business was, you would not be in such a beastly hurry to interfere. The llama dragged forth his rosary and pulled his huge hat broom over his eyes. What can he want now? He says, be quiet. He wants to speak to me by himself. You see, you do not know one little word of what he says. And I think if you talk, he will perhaps give you the very bad curses. When he takes those beads like that, you see, he always wants to be quiet. I see. Tell him that the regiment will make you as good a man as you, as good a man as can be. Tell him that if he believes in miracles, consider the chances against it. Our regiment of all, of all others on the line of march to meet for him to meet with. Kim smiled compassionately. If these men lay under the delusion that they would not do anything that he did not fancy, so much the better. But the lama nervously rattled the rosary. The sin is mine, the punishment is mine. The heart went out for you in the charity and of courtesy, the wisdom of little years. But those who follow the way must permit not the fire for it. Uh, fire of attachment for that is all illusion now his tone altered and turned to kim at least i may acquiring merit wipe out past ill do they sell learning among the sahibs tell them i will pay the rosary clicked furiously as an abacus as a soldier's boy you could attend a uh, samwar military orphanage for 300 rupees a year and you could attend xavier's at lucknow he says he will pay you must write that name and money upon the paper and give it to him Unlocked, go to school. Powers of darkness below, straight bigger with 300 rupees. You'll go down luck now if you want to go to St. Xavier's or you go to the same war military orphanage. Okay. So we're gonna go to an orphanage? Screw that guy. I ain't going nowhere. I can't pick the lock. Uh, what if we go down this way? Where are we? Uh, that's me. And we are going to Mbala. So we can make it to Simla. And then we can go down. Or we can go down this way and over. We'll get to the train tracks again. Hmm. Okay, I say we go this way still. Well, what's here? Can't get that. Fine. Let's go. Yeah. They have looked each other between the eyes, and there they found no fault. They have taken the oath in the brother and blood of leaving bread and salt. They have taken the oath of brother and blood and fire and... F oh shit, I should eat. <laughs> and they hold to half the Kuiper knife and wondrous names of God, the ballast of the east and the west. Uh, yeah. So, pause. Health, where are we? Ha oops, happiness 95, fatigue 51. We could sleep in the rough. Or eat a peach. Fatigue 21. And eat the chai. Nice. Mine's 50. Holy shit. Okay, keep going. Oh, the bird. Uh, farmer. You're a man of oil. How was the harvest this year? Oh, the harvest. Fickle mistress, if you knew how I feared for my family. I pray you do not go hungry. Conversation. Plus 10 merit. Uh, what's it like being a woman? <laughs> the proverb says the war of the men of childbirth and the women have a wars of our own. I don't doubt it. Plus 10 merit. Look at us being a good boy and shit. Uh, what's this? Can we steal shit from here? Stable. Travel to Simbla by horse with the llama. Oh. Let's do it. Sometimes a woman or a poor man watching. Okay, we got the achievement in Bala. Watching the ritual was nothing less when a great yellow tart was unfolded to throw a few flowers, a handful of cow cowries upon its edge, suffice to the symbol, and by the Holy One who might be moved to remember them in his prayers. Eh. 
There you go. Oh, it's dark and it's raining. All right, the traveler will come to the church, which is in the Gothic style, the consecrated land of 4th of January 1857. This is the finest. The finest church in India was built with an officer of Bengal engineers named Atkinson under the author of well known book, Curry and Rice, the E window of the stained glass from Newcastle. The screen is made of the wood, blah, 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 208 pounds. Um, it was designed the chaplain, Mr. Rotten, put up in 1874, Mr. Rotten was chaplain, a merit and mutiny broke good, after which chaplain forces the siege. Marie's handbook of the Punjab Western. Alright. Sweet. So we've got shit we can do. Just... No. Oh, that guy's looking for stuff. What happens if we go in front of him? Hi. Always oh, a thief. Oh. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Why is he um wanting to fight me? That's not cool at all, man. Okay, let's. What? How the hell do I get out of combat? I don't want to fight people. I'll let those two guys duke it out. And then whenever one dies, I will sit there and I'll fight. Okay, pause the game for a sec. Our health is not doing so well. And there. Hmm. Yeah, kicked his ass. I have a, a warrant out now for my arrest. And that guy, look, the the llama's just sitting there watching me beat this guy. Is this guy not dead yet? Murder. Yay, murder. Hindu outfit. We'll take it all. Get a Hindu outfit. Dressing the part. Plus 20 merit. Yay. Okay, so if we go... What the hell was the suitcase again? Nope. There it is. Okay, so if we equip this. Ooh. I need a weapon. So now we can get rid of this stupid ass tattered piece of crap. Okay, we don't need to fight anyone anymore. See, he, yeah, he's gone. What's this thing? Nothing. Okay, I guess we don't really have. Oh, there. That's what I was looking for. Is the little sleeping place. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll do that for eight hours. Get a little bit of our health back. That should be good. Should be good. Everybody's like, hey, look at the dead guy. Uh, do we want to just leave? Or... Maybe we could talk to this guy. Uh, who can you turn to? See Delhi, Armitsar, Benwars, and Bikaneer. Okay, we already passed that. But I'd like to know how we can get a lock pick. Because I'd like to start breaking into people's houses. I think that would be a wonderful thing to do. Don't you think? Let's go. Kim was escorted by the Pujari. I have come to study scriptures, pass some time in quiet contemplation. He's fat. <laughs> Any Hindu may take refuge here. Cambridge wasn't so that was on many gods fascination plus thirty merit. So we got all our merit back after we murdered that foo. Shit, it's nighttime now. Hope you're not gonna fight me. I'm out Run 
Okay, we will sleep inside. Travel. We gotta get some rupees, man. We only got one rupee. There were seniors who had requisition chance met Raja's elephant in the name of St. Francis Xavier. When the rains once blotted out the cart track that led to the father's estate and had all but lost a huge beast in the quicksand, there was a boy who, he said, and none doubted, had helped his father to beat off with rifles. Wait, what? Had helped his father to beat off with rifles? He beat off an elephant? Or a bunch of guys? I don't know. From the veranda of Rashakas in the days of those uh, things with the stuff and headhunters revolt against lonely plantations. Alright, so where are we now? First month, he spent the first month in Kim's shoes and hopefully learned a little bit of what he's capable of. Indian life can be hard, but justice is no less, no less swift. If you wish to break the law, you have means to do it carefully. Kim's fate is in your hands, but his friends, old and new, may have a part to play. Visit them if you aren't sure how to proceed. Who is that one? Somebody just hit me. Uh, fellow Hindu. Um, Banaras, of course. I hope to go there. Let's go talk to this guy. Who is that one? He is an exceedingly holy one. He comes from far off. He comes from Tibet. We're in Tibet. From behind the snows, from a very far place, he knows the stars, he makes horoscopes, he reads nat nat nativities, but he does not do this for money, he does it for kindness and great charity. I am his disciple. I am call called also the friend of the stars. <laughs> you are no hillman. Ask him, he will tell you I was sent to him from the stars to show him an end to his pilgrimage. Humph. <laughs> Consider, brat, that I am an old woman and not altogether a fool. Lamas I know, and to these I give reverence, but you are no more a lawful chela than this finger is the pole of this wagon. You are a case caseless Hindu, a bold and unblushing beggar, attached belike and holy one for the sake of gain. Do we not all work for gain? Aye, I am only a beggar's brat, as the eye of the beauty has said. I have beauty forsooth. Who am I that you should fling beggar endearments at? Forty years ago, I might <laughs> that might have been said, but not without truth. Aye, thirty years ago, but it is the fault of the gadding up and down the hand that is king, the king's widow must jostle at the scum of the land, and made a mock by beggars. Great queen, I am even the great queen says I, I am, but nonetheless, my master holy, he has not yet heard the great queen's order that. Order? I order a holy one, a teacher of the law, never. Pity my stupidity, I thought you gave an order that he visit you. Forgive me, the delicious smells of curry must have distracted me. It was a petition, now you may eat as you clearly are in need of sustenance. Kim took the food and solemn profoundly. I didn't see what I unlocked, and I got curry though. The old lady recognized that in the eyes of the ears of the llama, he was to be propitiated. Rice and spinach. The jeweled forefinger shook itself uh, she could hear the old lady chuckle. Who the hell is that guy? Wait, come here. Poor beggar, how thin are you? Are you sick? My father is dead, my mother is dead, my stomach is empty. That's my line. <laughs> hey, bitch is trying to steal my work. Okay, let's see if we can go here. Whatever our uh, health at. Let's pause for a sec. Oh, we're hungry. Maybe. Uh, health 59. Happiness is 99. Fatigue is 29. Not too bad. Um, nothing to do there. I really want to pick a lock. What, am I hungry now? Let's uh, eat the bread. Are we hungry anymore? I don't think so. Nope. Let's see. Hmm. Don't really know what's going on there. 
Can we kick the animal? Oh, wait, before we do that, let's just check the map. We are actually in Umbala. Aren't we supposed to do something here? And we have a warrant out for our arrest for assault. Actually, it was murder, but apparently they dropped the charges. Um, so what the hell are we supposed to do here? Because there was something that we were supposed to do in Umbala. What about you? There you go. I have not said a hundred times that the South is a good land. Here the virtuous highborn widow of Hill Rajiv on pilgrims of the Buddha Gaya. When you are well rested, we should speak to you. She would speak to you. I have known many men of some long of my men, so you're a woman born and as my hair has gone out and has you thoughtful, wise and courteous, but something of a small imp. And I have never seen such a priest as thou. Even little imps need new clothes. Can you spare me thirty rupees for an outfit? Perhaps in a former life it was permitted that I should have rendered you some service. Maybe I've freed you from a trap or haven't caught you on a hook in these days. It was not enlightened to cast you back into the river. I hope so. Now, as regards to the woman, she probably needs a son for her daughter. That is no part of the way, but at least she is from the hills. Ah, the hills. And the snow of the hills. He rose and stood in the cart, and Kim would give him these ears to come to law and invite him. A few words caught up in an unknown tongue. They spoke for some common uh, something, something, something. Continue. There we go. At last, the Lama returned. A virtuous woman and a wise one. The world is full of charity for those who follow the way. And what she said. Or what said she? She asked me many questions to propound the problems of which were the idle tales of which she had heard the devil searing serving priests who were tend to follow, pretend to follow the way. Some I answered and some I said were foolish. Many wear the robe, but few keep the way. True, that is true. Unlocked visit to Kul Sahiba. But by her light, she is most right-minded. She desires greatly that we visit her home at the Serenoid Woman of the Fruit Gardens. So we have to go to Fruit Gardens now? Was that fucker gonna fight me? Oh. No. Okay. Just making sure. So, where the hell was that place? Maybe it was up the top there where it says the Hill States? Uh, I don't know. We have a spot. Find the river of the arrow. Deliver a message in Umbala. My boat Ali's secret message about a horse. Okay, we need to deliver a message to someone here. Not him. Not him. Maybe this guy. No. Well, who the hell do I send a message to? I don't freaking know. Hmm. I don't really know. Well, you know what, guys? I think we're going to have to figure out what that is in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's a really different kind of style of game because it's truly a story-based, text-based kind of thing. And, um, I don't know, my storytelling is not always the, uh, the greatest, but it is something. And I'm kind of curious just to see where the story goes. If you're enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button for me. It really shows that you actually care and it makes a difference as to whether or not a, a series will stick around or not. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the sub button too. You get to see at least three videos every single day. Take care. Very simple.